Welcome everyone. This is Mundan Nagavan. This video, we are going to cover the drop down by using the HTML5. Let's jump into the VS Code and we have the default template with the form tag and the header tag. If you open the same thing in the browser, you can see something like drop down demo. Now we are going to create the drop down by using the select tag. And we will be giving, for example, language, lang. Let's say ID also lang. And we will be giving the options between the select tag by using the option tag enter and let's say this is for python py and let's say give the value python control sorry alt shift down arrow now here you can give java let's say java let's say javascript let's say js and save it and here you can see the values drop down values python java javascript so this drop down will be called as a static drop down why because this will be having the static values in the drop down even we can use the input box but in the input box we can give the auto suggestions these suggestions are not from the cache of the browser it will be the suggestions that you can make it for example let's say i'm creating the input with the input text type and i'm giving the id equal to let's say ide and let's say name equal to ide and let's say we can add one more thing called a list and this should be having the id of the data list for example let's say i'm going to create the data list enter and between the data list you will be adding the option for simplicity i will be adding the eclipse and value will be this time when you add between the data list options so whatever the value you are giving that will be shown in your drop down value whereas in the select whatever the value you are giving between the option tag will be shown in the drop down for example here you can see i have entered the value as js and the drop down value as javascript right the same way for the data list i am entering eclipse and i am giving the little bit summary on the eclipse for example best suit for java Let's say I'm going to repeat this one, but this time I'm going to enter for PyCharm. And let's mention this is best suit for Python. Now you save it and refresh here. And here you can see, let's say I'm typing V. Okay, this time you will not get any input. It will be acting like a normal input. Why? Because we have created the data list. We have created the input box, but we did not link it. So just to link it, let's add the ID equal to IDE-DL as the ID for the data list. Now, same you can just mention in the list. So IDE-DL and save it. Now here you can refresh and if you see here, you can see the default values, Eclipse best suit for Java and PyCharm best suit for Python. Let's say if I type Py and it will be showing only those options. Since it's an input box, it does not mean that only from the drop down you need to select the value. Even you can type your own value, for example, sublime. Okay, now we will add some more things like let's say submit button. So this will be the input type. Enter and it will be the submit. Same will be for the ID. Or let's say we will add value only as of now. Submit and save it let's see submit input type okay fine now we will go and refresh and here you can see so this will be having only the pi because whatever value we have entered so that will be taking from your value attribute for example the value attribute for python is pi so that's the reason ide i have not given anything so if i give let's say for example eclipse and let's say submit here you can see the eclipse now, again, if I give something like other than the auto suggestions, even that will be considered sublime. And if you click on submit, here you can see the sublime. So with that, we can understand we can create the static drop down by using the select tag. And we can give the value and the, let's say, the display value between the tags, such as like Python is the display value and the value is the one which will be transferred to your JavaScript or form submission. Whereas in the data list, whatever the value you are giving as the value, so that will be shown in your, let's say, drop down values. And whatever you are giving between the tags of option, that will be shown as a summary or description about that value. Here you can see Eclipse is the value, and the summary or description about the Eclipse is best suit for Java. 
So this way we can create the HTML dropdown values, static dropdown values, and we can create the input box with the auto suggestion list. So thanks all. Thanks for watching and have a great day.